Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord. For false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Drawing closer to the whole experience of holiness and into the passion of our Lord. Let us acknowledge our human weakness and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion, that we may merit to receive your forgiveness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me. Pay attention, remotest peoples. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb, he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword. He hid me in the shadows of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and conceal me in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toyed in vain. I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while, my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honoured in the eyes of the Lord. My God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken. He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. It is not enough for you to be my servant, to restore the traps of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me and save me. My lips will tell of your help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. 
my lips will tell of your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust. O Lord, since my youth, on you I have learned, on you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. My, my lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your justice, and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. My lips will tell of your help. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you most solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering which he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed him and said, Ask who it is he means. So leaning back to Jesus' breast, he said, Who is it, Lord? It is the one replied Jesus, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. At that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, what you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood the reason he said this. Since Judas had charge of the common fund, some of them thought Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. Night had fallen. When he had gone, Jesus said, Now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will turn, glorify him himself, and will glorify him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, Why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Tuesday, day two of Holy Week. We grow closer and deeper into this whole experience of the Jerusalem of the heart. We step into what is known as the self-emptying, the kenosis, the surrender and the abandonment of what lies. Yesterday we were at the home of Miriam, Lazarus and Martha. And today we find ourselves in another place, another scene. It's the upper room. 
and we have with us the discourse of the Last Supper. It's from John's Gospel, chapter 13 to 17. It's a beautiful discourse, a beautiful, wonderful narrative to just capture the mind and the heart of Jesus. Because the whole Gospel text of today is not about the disciples, it's about Jesus and his love. He loved them and he loved them till the end. That was his depth of his love. He loved them till the very end. And what is interesting if you find yourself this morning is to sit with three important personalities, keeping in mind that they were apostles, they were disciples, they were the close to ones with Jesus. Judas, Peter, and the unnamed disciple known as John. We look at Judas a bit. Sometimes we have this notion that traitor, betrayal. But it's interesting when Jesus took that last piece of bread. It was just after the washing of the feet, this gospel text. And he gave that piece of morsel, that piece of bread to Judas. Gospel text tells us Jesus was deeply troubled. The Greek translation is he was deeply agitated. He's in a state of grief, pain. It's not about the impending death and passion. It was about Judas. It was about the disciples. That was his pain. And when he gave that piece of bread to Judas, he was hoping that Judas would make that change at that moment. Even at the last minute, Judas would just retreat and make that U-turn. But Judas had closed the door. He had shut the door to Jesus. There was no turning back. And Jesus says, do what you have to do in your freedom of life. And the text is so beautiful if you study the Gospel of John. When Judas left, it was dark. It was night. It was no longer the light. It was dark already. And that is sin that you fall into. Judas made the decision to leave and he walked out. And then you find yourself in the story of Peter. Peter was not about darkness. Peter was weak. He was so weak. Peter never understood the act and the virtue of God's love. He never, he never understood it. At the washing of the feet, he was in a different moment. Even at the experience of following Jesus, and Jesus says, Peter, you are weak. But I tell you, Peter, when you fall, you will repent. And when you get up, you have to strengthen the rest of them. You have to strengthen the rest of your brothers. Peter was weak. And then you find yourself at the one who is unnamed. It could be any of us. Lying at the bosom and the breasts of Jesus. Staying at the cross till the end. We could be there. Let us ask the Lord the grace as we enter into the second day as the suffering servant of Isaiah in the first reading, to look at ourselves the number of times we have shut the door of our heart, of the Jerusalem of our heart, to Jesus and to allow the evil one to enter. For the number of times that we have shut the door. This holy week, can we find ourselves pondering at the life of Peter, Judas and John? Can we find ourselves pondering and sitting in the shoes of Peter, Judas, and John? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of made. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless Jaila, God of all creation, to goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family and to those you made partakers of the sacred gifts. Grant us a share in their fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. To Jesus Christ, our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. To him the most, the host of angels, adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, Join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With faith and confidence, we turn to God the Father as we pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. Save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to now since on the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us all partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all the seduction of former ways and make them always capable of new holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Prayer for the Synod. We, we stand before, before you, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us Just the, the way, way we must go and, and how we are to pursue it. We are, we are weak, weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and do not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in, in the communion, communion of, of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.